Welcome to 21st of January's Godly Blessing. Now, every word has to be very, very, very precious, has to be very calculative, and has to be very thoughtful. And that's what God is trying to teach us over here. That every word is an energy which once sent out can have an effect on you and also on other people. So every word has to be very carefully spoken. And this is not just a mouthpiece or a not just a voice box that should be used randomly. Even when you play a drum or you play an instrument, if it's not played in harmony, the tune won't be good. Similarly, this voice box is also an instrument. If you don't use it in the right way at the right time, without harmony, then we can harm somebody and harm ourselves also. So let's understand what does God have to say about this beautiful blessing. He says, may you be a master Sadhguru and doubly underline your words and make them precious. So words make it a person or actions make it a person or words define you actually and people can have the first impression by listening to you by understanding what kind of words you speak. So God says the words of few children have to be words that those who are listening would be thirsty to hear you say something. That means it's going to affect their lives. It's going to make them feel connected to themselves. God then says this is known as speaking precious elevated versions. Elevated versions are not a lot of words. That means there's a gist in them. Within that limited words, you can convey your message. If someone continues to speak whenever he wants, those words would not be called elevated versions. That means they are out of control. So first, in our own mind, we have to have an essence of what we have to speak about. Come to a conclusion in our own mind, then speak about it. It's not about when you speak that you conclude things. It's about you conclude things in your mind first and then you speak about them. There's a difference. You are master Sadgurus, children of the Sadguru. Sat means the true guide or guru. That means only God can be called or given that name. And so each word of yours is an elevated version. At any time and in any place, only speak words that are necessary. That means you know what exactly needs to be conveyed in a sweet, powerful, truthful way and a fearless manner. And when you do that, then it is conveyed in a very right manner. Yukti yukt and beneficial for yourself. Only speak words that are necessary. Yukti yukt. Yukti yukt means you are careful that it doesn't hurt anybody. It is uh, something, it's something concerning to the whole community or people who are being addressed about and beneficial for yourself and for other souls. Something which is not beneficial for myself, if I speak it out, it's not going to be beneficial for other people also, right? It can include impure words, it can include waste words, it can include harming words or harmful words. So doubly underline your words. Be careful about what you are going to speak and that can be done through meditation. That means you can actually rehearse what you want to say in your mind and know what to be omitted, what has to be omitted and what needs to be conveyed. Just like a Prime Minister's speech is very carefully constructed in such a manner so that it doesn't hurt the countries around, right? So if it's an international addressal, you're very careful. Similarly, imagine you to be a world benefactor soul who is going to address many people and many people are going to address the same message across to others also. So you are actually reaching out to many souls, even though you might not have a tag of a prime minister or a president, but still, you are God's messenger. Imagine that. And that's what we are. In Brahma Kumaris, we learn godly message and we convey this godly message to everybody. What is the godly message and why it needs to be conveyed in a very specific manner, in a very precious way, is what you learn when you do the seven-day course at Brahma Kumaris. Om Shanti.